Hi, Sarah. I'm Mary Beth. I'm going to go through um, your ice therapy. Okay, this is called a Breg Polar Care. Everything I tell you today, I'm going to um, give you a paper, which goes through everything step by step. Okay? Okay. First, you want to start off by filling the cooler with ice to this line here. And you want to add water to the, to the following line. You don't want to overfill it. You want to put the cover on top. You want to make sure the hose is facing into the rear. Place the cover right on top, and you pull up the lever. You hear it click. Okay. Next, you want to do is just plug it in. This is just a two-prong adapter. You plug into the wall. It's going to plug right into this area here where it says front. Once it's plugged in, it's automatically on. There's no on or off switch, okay? So when it's not in use, you want to make sure you unplug it. You can do it from this side here or the wall, okay? Plugged in, it's on. Okay. okay, next thing you do, you want to connect this hose, which is automatically going to run ice water through the pad. This is the gel pad. Okay, basically you just want to match up the numbers. I'm going to take number one, I'm going to match it up with number one. And then two is going to go right here. And the third one, I like to put like right down at that point there. Okay, now we're ready to apply the, the pad to your or affected area. So ideally this is where your shoulder incision is going to be, and you want this to be up on your shoulder. Okay. Okay. It doesn't have to be tight, it's just meant to keep it in place. Okay. So strap number one is going to go up and under your arm. Number two is going to go under your arm, your deltoid. Okay. And the third one is going to go up and under your armpit. Okay. Now you're all padded up. Now we're going to connect the blue hose to the other end of the pad. In order to do so, you want to make sure to depress the metal clips down, and then you put them in opposites, okay? So they go in, and you firmly push, and you'll hear the click. Okay, now you know it's locked, okay? In a few moments, you're just going to feel like a cold. Okay, you never want to put this directly on your, on your skin. You always want to make sure you have a t-shirt or some, some type of barrier between you and um, the pad. The pad, this is, this is um, designed so you can use it um, continuously. And we say that because the temperature never really reaches an ice therapy. It, it's 46 to 52 degrees, okay? So there's really no harm in ice damage. However, we do like you to take it off and inspect your skin to make sure that the skin's integrity is in place and that you're not having a, any issues with that. So you can use this continuously. Um, the thing with this is that you want to make sure you have it not on the floor. You want to have a chair or something lateral to the bed, okay? Um, when it's not in use, you want to unplug it. To disconnect, you want to have a little towel nearby to disconnect. You want to press the metal clips and you pull apart. There'll be a few drops of precipitation, but then it will stop. Okay, there's a valve inside, so it will stop. Okay, so when not in use, you don't want to leave the motor running. You either unplug it from this or from the wall source. And that's basically it. Again, there are instructions on the side of the machine. And this is something that you own. You don't need to return it. Okay? All right, Sarah. So normally when you go home with the ice therapy, you're going to be typically in a sling. Okay? So I just want to give you an idea what the whole thing's going to look like together. Okay? So you can open the sling right up like this. Again, we want to slip your arm in to the very rear of the sling. Elbow to the end. Great. This is just going to go around your shoulder strap, around your neck clips in place like this. You can use this little strap here to actually keep this when, when not in use. And keep this right in place like that so it's not hanging. That's typically what you're gonna what you're gonna be uh, sporting. 